everyone. I'm so excited that you clicked on this video because we are talking about my brand new book, Anointed Devotions, Volume 2. Time with God that's unhurried, unrushed, and deeply personal. There's 52 devotions in here. It's a weekly devotional. And I did not do this all by myself. I had two contributing authors, Melody McDaniels and my sister, a. Rose Williams, who is a well-established author, and I'm so excited that she is here to talk to us today about her contribution to our new Anointed Devotions book. This is the first book that we've ever done together. No, it's the second book that we've ever done together, because the first one was with True Image. That's right. And yeah, so this is our second work together. So I'm very excited. Two and two and 2020. That, oh, that works, right? I like it. I like it. <laughs> so tell the people about yourself. You're a well-established author. Tell us about you, how you first started writing. What's your inspiration? Where can we find your stuff? What was your what was it like being a contributor? <laughs> well, um, hi. Um, I, I guess I'll start at the beginning. It's, I hear it's a very good place to start. Um, <laughs> yes, it is. So uh, when I was growing up, I would write all the time. I loved writing, actually. Ever since I got introduced to it, I loved it. Mm -hmm. um, I found out my mom kept my very first book, and it was when it was I was in the first grade mm -hmm. when I when I wrote it. And she pulled it out one day, and I said, "What is that?" And she's like, "This young lady is your book." And I'm like, "Oh, yes, mommy. Okay." <laughs> I didn't even know that she still had that, but she did, and. I, I she saw something that I did not see she for that, many it? years later. Yeah, so thanks for the insight, mom. <laughs> but um, I would find myself writing all the time uh, at, from elementary school. If I got bored in class, I was I wasn't scribbling, I wasn't doodling, I was writing. Yeah. And it, it went all the way through college. I would fill up notebooks just writing, and I, I put them aside. I would put them in the box with all of my other class notes and everything like that. So report cards and stuff like that. They were all mixed up in there. And there was a time when I I was going through, and I was like, okay, Lord Jesus, you know, you I can't do. I'm stuck because you know, it's, at some point in our lives, we all have to come to the end of ourselves. Right. right. I came to that point. I was stuck. I said, I, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Use me. Do something. Yeah. I can't do this by myself. I need you. Yeah. And it was at that point, I was listening very carefully, too. I was like, look, my ears are open. My mouth is shut from food for a while. Just do you, God. <laughs> and I was trusting. And that's when God opened my eyes to all of those writings that I had put away yeah. for all of those years. So all of those writings ended up being what? How many books do you have now? I have um, six books. This actually makes seven. So <laughs> this is your seven. That's my seven book. book. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thank God. It is by the grace of God, y'all. So all of those writings, yeah. all of those years, all that stuff built up, and when you kind of came to the end of yourself, like God took over and you started writing. Totally. So your first book came out what year? Oh my gosh, I think it was two. 2002? Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. So this is serendipity, right? 2002. And then 2020. 2020. I know. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Oh, so, okay, so tell me what it was like being a contributor to Anointed Devotions. I remember I asked oh my you goodness. a while ago. <laughs> when you first approached me about it, I have to say I was apprehensive because I had read Anointed Devotions 1 and I was like, ooh, anointing. You talk about anointing. The insight and, you know, the manifestation of Spirit of God working through you, that was, I was like, okay, this is, this is another level. And we can say the same thing about your books. <laughs> so, amen, amen. But I, I did uh, take on the challenge and I said, okay, God, you and me, let's dig deep. What, what do you have to tell me that I could tell everybody else? Because, you know, when, when God teaches you, when God works through you, that's not just for you, that's for somebody else too. But it's the other way too. When you're working, you know, to bless somebody else, he'll end up blessing you. So true. That's exactly what happened with Anointed Devotions too. Mm. So tell us about one of your contributions in here. Pick one. <laughs> okay. Um, I know there's one in here about compassion. I think it was real compassion or... Yeah, I think real compassion yeah. is one. And what a timely topic for right now. Yeah, oh my goodness. Real compassion. I... 
when when you are going through, when you are stressed out, when you are facing life's problems, it doesn't really occur to you the first dash out of the dish to be compassionate to somebody else, mm. to put yourself in someone else's shoes, to look at a situation from somebody other than your perspective. Different perspective. Yeah. Right. So with real compassion, it's it's not just an act, it's a walk. Mm, I like that. All right. So we're we're not just being compassionate. We we are compassionate people, but the walk, the when you walk out compassion, you are constantly looking outside of yourself. So we kind of embody compassion mm -hmm. instead of just having a moment exactly. of compassion. It's That's not good. just an action. This is a walk. So what page is that devotional? This is on, on page 85. I'm like almost in the middle of the book here. Look, this book, you guys, is so look, show them how thick it is. It's, it's such a thick, thick. book. It's so thick. Look at that. <laughs> so this is on page 82. 85. 85. Okay. And so what else can you tell us about the process of writing that particular devotional or how is it affected oh my goodness. you? Or, so were you hoping to read your I didn't know I didn't know back then mm -hmm. that I would be writing for this time now. Neither, none of us none did. of us did. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is, you know how people are constantly talking about, you know, the human condition and how people need to be you know, so giving right now, and and they're encouraging people to to give and, and to to consider other people's feelings, to yeah. consider other people's situations. That is all a part of compassion. Mm -hmm. It's making sure that you're not just being self-centered, self-important, all about you. And it's hard to do that when you're you know in quarantine. Right. It's hard to do that when you're concerned about your health, but. You know, just, just the, the acts that they ask us to do during this time, you know, the masks and the washing of our hands. So many people, they're like, oh, I just don't want to. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, I get it that you don't want to. I don't want to either, but guess what? I am going to look outside of myself mm -hmm. and outside of how important I happen to be. Look outside of what I want to do and what I don't want to do to consider someone else's health, to consider someone else's feelings, to consider somebody else who may be more susceptible than me. To show compassion. Exactly, to show compassion. Beautiful. Beautiful. And so it's not just about, you know, us having our stuff and being safe and everything like that. It's about being considerate and compassionate to the people around us. Mm -hmm. And you can tell the fruit you know, you, you can you can tell those people who, who have Jesus, who have the love, because they are mm -hmm. compassionate. Mm -hmm. They're passionate. You mm -hmm. know, that root word of, of passion. We think of the passion of the Christ. We think of, you know, what it took for him to die on the cross for our sins. And that's the root word of compassion is passionate. So we're literally sharing Christ's passion with someone else and not keeping salvation to ourselves, not keeping exactly. what we have to ourselves, but thinking of others like you said. I'm so glad you said that because this was not just about 2020. Mm -hmm. This is about everyday life. Mm -hmm. This is not just for special times. You know, this is a walk. It's a journey. You, you take it with you everywhere you go, especially when you're talking about salvation. Mm -hmm. You're not just going to say, well, I have my salvation, so I'm good. I don't, I don't want anybody else. I mean, it's, it's very selfish to say that. That it's because you have your salvation, that's all you need, and you don't tell anybody else. Mm -hmm. How okay. do you keep that to yourself anyway? Okay. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no, I can't either. I have to, I have to tell somebody about Jesus. It's, it's all amazing. up in there, but <laughs> Amen. Amen. but you, you never want to keep that to yourself, especially because that's. An eternity long game you know mm -hmm. you, you want to make sure that whenever you have the opportunity you tell somebody about Jesus you tell somebody you know what there's hope for not just your future but for your eternity mm -hmm. you know and, and put it out there because you already have yours Come on. <laughs> you know? Come on, Mr. Rose. <laughs> So true, so true. Well, I want to thank you oh, for your contribution to the book. It was my pleasure. It's my pleasure because you are, she has already written all these books, and I didn't know if she would say yes, to be honest, 
And and I'm just thankful and grateful that you actually did it and that you contributed. And I really appreciate you. Listen, how can people buy your stuff, find your other works that you contributed to, that you've written? How do we do roles? What's your social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, whatever? Okay. Well, um, I guess the easiest way to get in touch with me or with all of my stuff is to go to my author page on Amazon.com. And uh, all of my books are actually on there. They're okay. listed on there. So, um, or easy enough, you can go to Anointed Devotions too, and I am listed as one of the authors. You can yes. just tap my name, and I'll be there. It's A Rose Williams. But just a, a period. A period Rose Williams. Okay. Just go ahead and tap it, and I am here for you. About <laughs> social media? Yeah, I am on Facebook. So, um, I guess you could go to. Uh, a rose for the glory of God, Williams, because that's all one word. A rose for the glory of God, Williams. Right, right. You know, right? And that's that's because a, a lot of my books have to do with the glory of God, and so you know that's going to be prevalent in every part of what I'm doing. Okay. But yeah, so those two, oh, absolutely, Instagram? absolutely. You have an Instagram? I do. Author Rose, author A Rose Williams is my Instagram, and that's all one word. Author A Rose Williams. All one word. All right. Well, you guys follow her, like her, follow her author pages, buy her books. Let's um, support and promote, especially our new book. We're so excited. <laughs> so thank you for joining us and for listening. God bless you. Go and get Anointed Devotions. It's brand new as of 2020. Thank you so much. And all of the proceeds from this book contribute to Wifestyle Image Network. If you want to be a part of the network, go to WifestyleImageNetwork.com. And we're going to be starting this book starting January 1st and going through it all together. And I'm so excited oh. for that. So thanks so much for joining us and God bless you. Bye.